Hello everyone, so today we will be working on this mesh. We want to add bevel to this say shape and it can be something like HDD drive, you know, we have such shapes something like that. Uh, so <clears throat> my voice is breaking, sorry. So what we can do in order to bevel it, it will be uh, very strange angle yeah and we want to have a like a nice transition to the flat area yeah so what we can do we definitely can select these uh, both loops from faces definitely you can go and select it one by one like that but uh, yeah in that manner it will be definitely faster so select the faces go to the edge perimeter select the edges which uh, the separation cannot select yeah uh, i won't be working on the uh, other side or on this side i'm working only on this part to be honest and i will mirror it over later okay so as this mesh as you can see it's pretty dense i mean from um, from the topology yeah it's pretty heavy it's funny to say that it's heavy yeah when we are working uh, from time to time with the zbrush okay so um yeah what we will do we will apply the bevel great i will remove the chamfer okay I won't be increasing the fraction. I like this uh, very tight bow. It will be razor sharp, let's say. And um, okay, so let's try to do smooth operation. Let's press free. It's looking really cool. Very sharp edges, yeah. But at the top, we can see that uh, it's not have enough geometry to support this uh, this line. See. Okay, in here everything is looking great, and in here we have an error. Okay, so let's fix the top first. Just select whoopsie, we'll just select the top, extrude, and let's do probably 0.1.01. Point zero zero five. Okay, I'm trying to match the the same, let's say, distance. That it will be good. Okay, now you can see this, uh, this line is looking pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so what do we have in here? We have this mess which we need to fix. And uh, I know uh, probably I will scale it a bit down because uh, because I don't like we work with so small uh, values when merging. Yeah. Okay. So what we can do in this situation, I will remove probably the grid in order to not stay on the on the eyes. Yeah. So what I will do. We'll go probably a bit to inside and I'll select everything down here. Great, deselect these stop guys. Just delete it. I don't need them. I need to fix this area. So, uh, what I will do, let's check this out. Definitely you could leave that uh, guys, but they just working on my nerves. So this is the reason why I have just deleted. Okay. So what we have, we have few lines, which are going into the triangles, as you can see here. This one goes there. Yeah. And then here, this one goes in here, but don't go to this one guy yeah okay so let's check this out where 
that line goes connecting to there this one should connect the same thing I mean you see the middle one line in between this three and this three what kind of difference we have so they should be connected in here but right now we're checking these two okay and uh, you see we will select the loop we'll go through like that so basically we don't need these two guys or at least this bottom one let's just delete it yeah just get rid of the noise we don't need that one because we have this this triangle now we're trying to find out this triangle yeah and uh, when we was deleting we missed these two guys let's connect the components great we have vertex points in here so let's try to move that vertex point to that location in order to clean it up or you can try to delete it the second one goes in here okay so let's check from triangle perspective this is a one triangle this is a second triangle and the fourth and for this triangle you can uh, just insert and uh, go and create a loop for example or something like that yeah but uh, definitely I cannot see the big problem in here but if you can see you can do it it's not a big problem yeah you can go and uh, move that triangle down here through the line okay so uh, what's next see in here is that mess which I really don't like I will delete it okay and so what's next I'll check it. this is a center great so let's select these two guys and just do the bridge operation and we have three dots three vertex points let's add third division yeah awesome select these three guys and just merge it and we have a three vertex point brilliant so let's delete this half this quarter yeah mirror over z combine it merge vertex points awesome snap into the center combine it mirror over the oh, duplicate and the mirror over the x merge Okay, so let's check it how it will look as you can see these guys are very very sharp and it's looking pretty pretty decent so we have great transition we don't have any artifacts it's looking great so this is how you will fix the bevel on such corners let's say so what you need to do only if you want to, to have a quads, just do the quads, yeah, and go through the all, let's say, definitely it won't be looking great, but what I want to say, that in our side, you know, we'll get the same thing in here, yeah, so... You will connect it and you have a quad yeah okay i hope that i've explained it and uh, yeah now you know how to work with such corners yeah great have a nice day